This video wishes to address two questions. Firstly, does weather global warming um, have a human or a natural cause really matter in the grand scheme of things? And secondly, does global warming altogether matter? So, let's start off. I don't believe the cause of global warming matter. Whether global warming is due to our carbon um, emissions or is it due to um, the um, Milankovitch cycles, whatever is caused it, I don't really think it matters. The risk that humans have caused it, that even that 0 0.001 chance that humans have caused it can lead to such grave danger means that we must react to it no matter whether it's been caused by humans or the uh, or just as a natural process. So I think firstly the causes of global warming don't matter. Whereas I do believe that global warming itself does matter because it poses many um, uh, problems. For example, um, and it, uh, the the North Atlantic drift. This is something I feel very close to because I live in London. If that slows down or even shuts off completely, the fact that winter temperatures can decrease by five degrees and summer de uh, uh, temperatures can decrease by three degrees, or we can even lead to a mini ice age. The very thought of that that we are regressing is very scary. So I think it does matter and it should be taken seriously is also an opportunity for global change. It's an opportunity for all the countries of the world to work multilaterally, uh, yeah, un unilaterally, uh, doesn't matter, to work together as one um, force, you know, because this is really affecting political relationships. For example, China are complaining and India are complaining, you know, why should we care about the environment when you know, the UK and the US did and when they were developing. So it's creating a lot of disturbances, but this is either a chance that's going to make us all come together, like one protocol or something, or work together, or it's either going to cause tensions and it's going to break um, political relationships and could lead to war and conflict. And we may actually just die of our own nuclear weapons rather than, you know, the world ending or being too hot and the mini ice age here or this there and completely dying off then there are also um, uh, other things to take into account is causing deaths the amount of costs nobody likes these things so it's important that we understand it and realize that it does matter and react to it and it's better to react now than never and also if we are going to change whether it's for human or natural if we take that out of the picture and we decide to change make a sustainable movement forward then what is there to lose in fact we're going to gain we're going to gain our independence from resources such as coal and oil which we know are diminishing so you know we're actually gaining rather than losing and it's better to be safe then sorry that oh it was human so this way we will gain something from it and even if it is human um, uh, caused or natural caused uh, global warming then we will still be able to succeed in some way um, I understand that's a bit annoying everywhere you go global warming the geography syllabus all about global warming turn on the TV something or the other every hazard ha now has the name global warming it can be very tiring and it is frustrating, but we just need to remember that global warming does matter and its causes don't.